Are you pretty mean to yourself sometimes? I know I am. Sometimes I forget something and I tell myself, Peter, you're such a dumbass. And you'll hear people say, if someone else talked to you that way, you would never accept it. So why should you accept it from yourself? And you shouldn't accept it from yourself. But you can't just make these thoughts disappear. When you do something and you're unhappy with, with yourself, uh, those thoughts are going to come up. And uh, what I wanted to share with you guys today is a technique that I love for distancing yourself a little bit from your thoughts so that you don't identify with them so much. Uh, you're going to have some negative thoughts. Uh, you're going to have some negative self-talk. So when that happens, how can we uh, not identify with it? So my favorite trick to do this is to remember that uh, we are not our thoughts. Our thoughts are things that appear uh, in our heads and we have very limited control over how often they appear and which ones will appear. And to remind ourselves of that, I have this amazing language trick um, that I, I didn't come up with this. I learned this from someone else, but I want to share it with you. And uh, this trick is thinking of thoughts as appearances in your consciousness. So for example, when you have some negative self-talk, you can say, hey, there's some negative self-talk passing through my consciousness right now. So that way, when you tell yourself, hey, you're such a dumbass, you know, your next thought might be, wow, why am I so mean to myself? Rather than having that next thought, you can just be like, oh, hey, that's some negative self-talk. And by putting that distance in between you and your thoughts, you are able to not identify with it and therefore not let it spiral out of control. So for those of you uh, like me who can be really harsh on yourself, um, have a lot of negative self-talk, expect high things and, and you know not always meeting the bar, um, try this out, try telling yourself, hey, there's some negative self-talk uh, passing through my consciousness and um, see if that helps you notice it more and see if that helps you not get caught up in the negative self-talk as much. So uh, try it out and let me know how it goes.